UDI stands for Unique Device Identification. The FDA established a unique device identification system to identify medical devices through their distribution and use. It affects all medical device manufacturers and is being introduced in phases to allow time to change labeling, packaging, and internal documentation. In short, UDI provides a standardized identifier for medical devices so they can be easily monitored, traced, and tracked in the market. In this video, we'll describe some of the key players involved in the UDI process and take a look at the benefits this FDA regulation provides. We'll also give you a good idea of what to expect as far as manufacturer requirements go, such as labeling and packaging. There are three key components in the UDI process. First is the labeler. No, not that kind of labeler. When it comes to UDI, the labeler for the most part is you, the manufacturer. Labelers can also be third-party organizations, such as reprocessors, convenience kit assemblers, repackagers, or relabelers. The next component in the UDI process is the FDA accredited issuing agency, IA, which is a qualified company that, you guessed it, provides UDI assignments to labelers. Currently, the FDA has three accredited IAs, GS1, Health Industry Business Communications Council, HIBCC, and International Council for Commonality in Blood Banking Automation, ICCBBA. The last component of the UDI process is the Central Repository for Key Device Data, the Global Unique Device Identification Database, or GoodID. This is where the labeler submits and maintains the UDI information. The UDI can be numeric or alphanumeric. It must be displayed in human-readable, as in plain text, or machine-readable format, such as a barcode, RFID, or QR code. There are two parts to the UDI, the device identifier, DI, and the production identifier, PI. The DI portion is what is submitted to the good ID. It identifies the labeler and the specific version or model of the device. If a new version or model of the device is created, a new UDI is required. The PI data is conditional and contains information such as the lot or batch number, the serial number, manufacturing date, and or expiration date. It's important to note that if this information is on the label, it must appear in the PI. Each component, subsystem, or accessory that is considered a medical device needs a separate UDI unless the components are part of a kit or medical device system that is marked with its own UDI. Packaging follows a layered model of UDI labeling. This means if your device ships in a base package such as a wrapper, each package is assigned its own DI. If that base package is sold as a unit in a box of, say, 12, that box is assigned its own DI. If that box of 12 is sold in bulk as a crate or case, that higher level of packaging also is assigned its own DI. However, fulfillment packaging, such as the shipping container, pallet, etc., does not require a DI number. UDI requirements also affect the devices themselves. If your product is a single use type that contains many units in a box, for example, examination gloves, only the box itself, not each individual unit, requires a DI number. Devices intended to be used more than once and intended to be reprocessed before each use are required to bear a permanent UDI in either plain text or machine-readable formats. There are some exceptions, though. For example, if the marking interferes with the safety or effectiveness of the device, or if there is just no feasible way to mark the device, then the marking is not required. As mentioned earlier, you obtain your DI from an issuing agency, which identifies the labeler and the specific version or model of the device. Select which IA you want, pay their fees, and submit your product and manufacturer information to them. They, in turn, supply you with a DI. You then take the UDI and transmit it to FDA's Good ID, the Global Unique Device Identification Database. You have a few choices for data submission avenues. Most smaller organizations will utilize FDA's Access ID web portal. There are some third-party tools available to help as well. Larger organizations who have to maintain thousands of UDIs might find it more convenient to connect to the Good ID via an API. So when do you have to be compliant? It varies based on device type, but time is running out. The FDA released this chart depicting key deadlines. For more information, be sure to read our white paper on UDI compliance. To download the PDF, just click the button at the end of this video. And don't forget to visit our webpage, www.emergogroup.com forward slash UDI.